So take a look around. And if it looks like I'm on a military base, it's because I actually am. This is the George Patton Museum of Leadership here on the base of Fort Knox, Kentucky. And it is cold and it is windy. It's just below freezing. There's a little bit of snow in the air, but the roads are still good, so I decided to get out while I can. So a little here about Major General Henry Knox, for whom the fort is named. And you can pause the video here. I won't bother reading it to you. An M1902 3-inch field gun. Can fire an 18-pound projectile almost 5 miles. Anti-tight tank rifle. Some German items from World War I. Field telephone. And typical World War I uniform. This diorama, if I get my shadow out of the way, showing when Colonel Patton was wounded, September the 26th, 1918. And we saw the diorama of his wounding, and this is the actual cane he used while recovering from that wounding. Couple more Patton items his compass and wristwatch. Quite the collection of patents childhood and toys, some of his stuffed dolls, even a toy cannon down here that he used to play with, little cap gun, ping pong paddle, So this here, 1938 Cadillac limousine, was originally made in Detroit and uh, went overseas to a dealer in France, got uh, captured or claimed back from the Gestapo and presented to Patton himself. And this was the car he was riding in when he got into an accident on the 9th of December, 1945. And basically he hit his head on the center divider and it broke his neck and he held on, but would die 12 days later. That's probably the best photograph of the car after the accident and then over here you can see it says that he ordered the investigation into the crash to stop because he didn't want to ruin the careers of the drivers who were involved This is his fencing uniform. 
from the 1912 Olympics in Stockholm, Sweden, where he finished third. These are all Patton's medals. And over here on this board, they list what the achievements were for. Some Dodge WC 56. This one built in July of 42. You can read a whole history of its provenance there on the sign. Today WTF stands for something completely different, but this flag was the flag Patton had when he came ashore in North Africa near Casablanca in November of 42 with WTF standing for Western Task Force. So apparently Patton used to sleep in this converted small arms vehicle. Nice display of it here. You can kind of see inside. Try and get you a closer look there at the inside. So this was a Jeep that Patton used briefly in late 45 was transferred here to Fort Knox in 1947 amongst the first artifacts to appear at the Patton Museum. An M4A 3E8 medium Sherman tank. And this is Emergency One Titan Foam 161 which was present at the Pentagon on September the 11th, 2001 and suffered massive damage here on the right side when the plane crashed into the Pentagon. Basically the damage has been left as it was on that day, the exception being this side panel here was cut out and removed so that it could stay with the Fort Myer Fire Department, which was where the truck was based out of. And that's kind of the end of the area that we are able to tour. But as it does say here, there is an expansion taking place and a number of exhibits are being refurbished and updated and changed. So by the time you see this video, assuming you're watching at you know, some point in the not so near future, the museum will probably look a lot different. Definitely was more to it than I was expecting. Um, it was free museum, so you know, it's uh, by donation and um, yeah, really cool. There were some more tanks outside on the way back to the parking lot, so let's go check those out. <laughs> and I just saw this on the way out and if you were like me when you saw Willie the dog and you wondered what happened to him, he lived a good life up until 1960. So there's the outside. I didn't show you that on the way in, but as I promised, 
there's a few more tanks still here now you can see there's a lot of pads along here where other tanks have been at different times and I know one of the FAQs on their website basically was saying where are all your tanks and I don't remember where they have been moved to but they have been moved to a different location uh, I think a completely different base so there's not as many tanks out here as there used to be but I don't think that diminishes the experience here at all especially considering the museum is completely free like what are you complaining about so this is something I didn't realize was an exhibit on my way in but this is a fully restored World War II barracks So it kind of gives you an idea of what the conditions would have been like for our soldiers back in that era. So I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I've got a couple more places I'd like to visit today. My camera battery is low and I forgot to bring a charging cable with me. So that's okay. I'm going to get back on the road before the snow starts flying here. So. From Fort Knox, this is Dan O'Can saying see you in the next video.